Good morning and thanks for tuning in. My name is Michaela Geis. I'm here at TransWest Truck Trailer RV in Frederick, Colorado, just about 30 minutes north of Denver here on the frontage road of I-25. This morning, I'm gonna be taking you through another 2024. So our 24 models are rolling off the production line as of May. So we've got another 24 model to show you. This one is one of our Lone Star combo. So it is one of those stock combo trailers. This one has a little bit of a different divider setup inside. So I'm excited to show you this one. And it is my favorite dual tack setup. So we'll go ahead and get started and kind of take a look at the front tack and then go from there. So like I said, these dual tacks are one of my favorite setups just for the accessibility and the convenience of these. Having your tack room on both sides of the trailer, it just really gives you a lot more freedom. So when you do tack up, maybe you had to park like on the side of a parking lot, you're parked next to a curb, you had to park really close to someone else's trailer. There's holes on this side you need to tie up on the other side. If you are limited in where you can tie up and where you can park, it just gives you the option to go ahead and tie up on the other side and tack up off that side too. So it's really easy to kind of get, get your tack, get anything else you may need out of this tack room from either side of the trailer. So I just really like the convenience of that. Or if you are hauling with someone else, you guys can each kind of have your own side of the trailer to work off of too. So really nice features having these dual tacks. They're kind of set up the same on both sides. So you're gonna have your big 42 inch door we really love these giant Cimarron doors. You have that on both sides. On that door, you're gonna have that swing out. Saddle pulls right here. You're gonna have four of them on each side. It is on that gas shock, similar to your fold down step and your saddle racks inside. So that gas shock is really nice. Just kind of helps you pull it out and then helps you put it back in. And then when it is folded in, it stays put. So it's not gonna be swinging on you. And then you don't also have to deal with like a clip or anything. I know. Like in the winter, you got gloves on and stuff. It's just not user friendly to be dealing with a clip all the time. So these are really nice that so you can just pull them out and then push them back in. And you are gonna have the window on each door. This trailer also has been upgraded to have that window in the nose as well on each side. Most stock trailers don't come standard with that window. Um, they just, it's not a standard feature in a stock trailer. So we upgrade all of ours to have that window up there in case you did need to have some more ventilation if you spent the night or something like that. So you got windows up there, windows on your doors here for ventilation, kind of get the air moving off these saddle pads. And then you're gonna have your big brush tray on both doors as well. Really deep, really wide. And then it does have those two little partitions in the bottom giving you three different sections. And then each section does have that drain hole in there as well. I really like my favorite part is just how tall these are. The partitions are really nice to kind of keep things separated too, but my favorite part is just how tall they are. It's really going to keep a lot of stuff in there. And then your taller stuff, like your spray bottles and stuff, it just prevents them from maybe accidentally tipping out. So really nice having that. And then your full down step. This trailer is your standard width of 610 wide. So you are going to have this running board down the full length. But here at each tack room door, we went ahead and taken that out and added a fold down step. So it gives you guys just a little bit more ease, accessibility getting in here, makes it a lot more convenient for you guys, drops your step about six inches there. It is on that gas shock as well. So it will stay folded up once you fold it up going down the road. And then it helps you fold it down as well. If this gas shock were to ever fail, it's really easy to replace. I've had customers ask, well, what happens when your fold up step doesn't stay up anymore? and it doesn't, it doesn't hold it up anymore. It's really easy to just replace that gas shock. So really nice that they don't have to, you don't have to take it into a shop and have anything major done to get that step fixed. It's just one little part. And then your swing out saddle rack, also on that gas shock, just a little bit bigger one. But once you start pulling it, it's gonna help it. It's gonna help you bring it out and then push it back in as well. You're gonna have two on each side. So it gives you a total of four. Obviously there's a bunch of space on these and again, they are fully adjustable. They'll slide up and down so we can add more. My last customer that ordered one of these dual tacks when I hadn't added two more to each side. So they had four on each side, really easy to do. We just pick them up in our parts department and then slide them on there for you. These are my favorite saddle racks out of all the trailers I've had. I've owned a trailer or at least hauled a trailer about any make and model there are out there. These are my favorite saddle rack. I really like that they're carpeted. So when you do stick your saddle on here, it sticks really well. It's not like plastic or anything that's gonna cause it to slide off. 
and then you do have this wither block that's going to stick up into the gullet of your saddle and just kind of make it more secure. It's just going to stick up in that gullet and just add more, I would say just like takes up more of that space there so it gives it less wiggle room. Um, they have tested this design and made it to where they feel it works best. So it's really nice to know that they haven't just just made guesses and kind of like measurements and just assumed this was gonna work. They've actually built several different prototypes, tested them and made sure this is what is gonna do the job. So I really like that feature. We'll go ahead and step up in here and show you what it looks like on the inside. There are a few more features in here. This one is very loaded out. Lots of extras inside of this front tack room. So fully carpeted gooseneck nose and drop wall. Again, it's got those windows and the carpet here. So if you did need to spend a night or something, it just makes it a little bit nicer. Fully carpeted boot box too. So when you do step up in there, you have a step. It's not just gonna be one of those little fold down metal steps. You have a full width step to step on here. And then it opens up and access storage too. So I really like that once you can stick stuff in here, it's not gonna roll away. It's not gonna go flying around your floor here and it's kind of out of sight too. So if you did just wanna throw a bunch of stuff in there and then close the lid, you don't have to worry about it. And then of course a step to get up in the gooseneck. Up, we'll work our way to the right here. You're gonna notice you have a little tray over there above that window. That tray is for your plexiglass. So that's your storage tray. So once you do pull this plexiglass out, if it were to get really warm, you wanna pull that out, just stick it up there in that tray and it's gonna keep it from getting scratched up or broken, just gonna keep it organized. And once you do take it out, kind of keep it in order, helps you put it back a lot easier too. To the right of that, you're gonna have your shelf with clothes bar underneath. Pretty standard in all of our RTG or ready to go models. Does have that lip on it with your rubber in the bottom. So when you do stick stuff in there, it's not gonna slide around and it's not gonna slide off of that shelf. So it's not gonna come back out. And then you do have your clothes bar underneath again for hanging stuff I know we always talk about hanging jackets or change of clothes for a rodeo for a trail ride if you brought a rain slicker with you anything like that and then I also always talk about maybe hanging up extra sheets too so if you did bring coolers for your horses I know mine get magnets and coolers and sheets and all kinds of extra clothing I have to hang them on my bridle hooks and then I just eat up all my bridle hooks so here it would be really nice to have you could just bring a bunch of extra clothes hangers with you and hang them over that, or even there's enough room, you could kind of stick them over like that too. So always better to have more storage options. You can never have too much storage. And then we'll check out, I'm gonna slide, swing these both out so you guys can see. This is one of my favorite upgrades to do if I have a customer building a trailer. I had one lady just custom order her three horse bumper pull on Monday, and we did option for the fully carpeted partition wall. One of my favorite upgrades to do. Makes it look super nice, keeps it really well protected, and that's gonna protect anything that sets up against this wall too. So when you do hang your bridles here, you got conchos, you got buckles, you got bits, you got clips for your reins, all that's gonna get to swaying and swinging up against this wall. When it has carpet, it's just gonna protect your tack, protect your trailer. It's also gonna deaden the noise. So if you did have, or when you do have livestock on the other side of this wall here, you're gonna keep it a lot quieter for them makes it a, for a quieter ride and again just keeps your trailer looking nice and then when you set stuff on the floor for wherever to rub up against this wall it's going to protect it down low as well so again just highly recommend this upgrade it's really nice from many aspects and then your storage tank your water storage tank back here in the corner again i always talk about how this is kind of just dead space here it's a great addition to add this and use up that space it's going to have a fill at the top, so you're just going to stick a hose at the top here, fill it up, and then you have a drain at the bottom. And then underneath this storage, um, you have storage space underneath here with your hose inside of it. So you do have this hose that you can hook up to your specket here and run it outside the door. Um, and then you have this stand that it sets up onto as well. So if you ever needed to stick a bucket underneath here, you would have room to stick a bucket and fill a bucket that way or just run your hose outside your door fill up buckets that way run off wash off shoes wash off dogs you never know what's going to get muddy 
wash off your horse's legs even. So really nice to have water on board, especially for those picky drinkers that only like to drink water from their home. One more thing as we step out, I'm gonna point out that OptiBrite LED light up there. It's got one over each of your doors. So you're gonna have lots of visibility inside of this dual tack. Light from both sides. It's gonna really light up all the angles of your trailer. So lots to go over in that front tack there. Being a dual tack and super loaded out. So lots of upgrades inside of there. Still more you can do to this trailer, believe it or not. You can always add a hay rack up top. A lot of people like to add a hay rack or a hay pod. Go ahead and throw the ladder on the other side and then you have even more storage. Tie rings, this one is gonna have three of them. We can always add more tie rings. That's something a lot of people do. Up above your tie rings, you're gonna have your 16 inch awning light. Like I said, inside your tack room, we got those LED lights, we got them out here as well. We'll have them at the back and inside. So no matter where you're working off this trailer, you're gonna have visibility. And then like I mentioned at this, about the plexiglass, the storage tray inside for when you remove it. So right here at these cutouts, Cimarron does this really cool. I really love how they do their plexiglass. You have these cutouts here, so all you have to do is stick your fingers behind this and slide them out and then take them straight to that storage tray in there and store them. So you don't actually have to go to the back of your trailer, undo any screws, have loose metal pieces, and then slide them out from front to back and then have to put that metal piece back on. All you have to do is stick your fingers or a flathead screwdriver or a pocket knife inside of here and then pull them out. Very user friendly. Underneath this trailer, we have two 7,000 pound Dexter rubber torsion axles. On those axles, we're gonna have brand new Lion's Head tires. These tires do come with a one year, no questions asked replacement warranty and two years of roadside assistance. And then they are nitrogen filled. You can tell by that green valve stem cover there. What that is going to do for you is just kind of help maintain that PSI, keep it from fluctuating so much and really reduce the risk of a blowout. Even with those warranties, just extra peace of mind. So I really like that that is an option on these trailers now. And it is just so you guys know, if you do end up having, getting a, a nail or a leak in a tire and it gets low and you need to fill it up, you can fill it up with air. Don't worry about that. And then once you get to your local tire shop, just fill it back up with nitrogen again, but it can be filled with air. So again, work our way back around. You're gonna have your one full swing gate here. And then we'll work our way back to our load space. So back here, we're gonna have our eight inch awning light for just loading purposes. That way you can see what you're doing, loading and unloading early in the morning, late at night, and then you do have your two OptiBright lights inside of this stall space. Starting back here, you're gonna notice, probably the first thing you'll notice, is that we have added the kick mat lining to your rear door, to your right-hand side, to your front wall, and to your left-hand side. Most of your stock trailers are not gonna come standard with that option. It's just a stock trailer, so they're not gonna have any kick mat around the walls here. This one we did foresee our customers using it as a stock combo, so hauling horses in it as well as other livestock. So just went ahead and added, upgraded that kick mat all the way around for protection of your trailer and protection of your horse's legs, especially. Um, and then rubber floor mats inside of this one as well. You're gonna have your typical full aluminum floor underneath the Cimarron. Went ahead and added rubber floor mats on top of this one. We always talk about, or I have been talking about in this video about how this one is really upgraded and there's still more upgrades you can do. We can change that out for worm flooring. We have someone here close in town that will do that. So we can just haul it down there and have that upgraded for you. The worm flooring is really nice because it just kind of gets, gets rid of the seams. So you don't have to worry about shavings getting under your floor mats and then having to pull those out after every trip and spread out your trailer. It just eliminates all the seals and gives you a permanent rubber flooring. So all you gotta do is just spray it out. So that's a very popular upgrade. And then I told you at the beginning, this one had a really unique divider setup. So as we've seen in most of our combos that we've done so far, we do have that stud wall up front still, so we have that. But then we typically take this center gate and drop it back about halfway. So it's your stud gate up front and then typically a space for two horses and then your center gate and then another two horses. 
This one, we actually bumped it up a little bit further. So you're gonna have your stud wall and then your center gate is right after it, leaving space for about one, for one horse. So essentially you're gonna have a two horse slant load up front here and then all your stock space back here. So you can tie more horses. I would say you could fit three to four back here in this space now that we've increased this size. And then you do have your full length tie rail on your left hand side so you can tie them up wherever you need to on this side or you can load your two head up there and then use this for your loose livestock. So I'll go ahead and open this. It's gonna have your AR latch right here, which is really cool because it's just a slam latch. So if you are, got stuff in your hands, you're in a hurry, all you gotta do is just slam it open up against this wall and it's gonna stay for you. Really easy to just pull that knob and set it loose again. So you guys can kind of see how we did this. So we're gonna have our stud wall up front here. Again, fully lined with that kick mat. So we've got our stud wall up here. It does have the escape door on it. So we can still use that for storage if we need to. Or we use it for a horse. And then you've got your center gate here, which is one stall, one horse length back. So you're gonna have your two horse slant load kind of like this set up. Or you could just use the front for storage and then have this back here running back here for your livestock since you do have that stud wall there. Or you have your center gate here. So lots of versatility inside of this one. Lots of different options and configurations you can do. And then having the option to leave this open is really nice. And then when you do slam it, I will point out this mechanism here is made out of a very thick, very heavy duty plastic. So it's not gonna be metal on metal contact here. It is very thick. You can see how thick it is there. It is very heavy duty, but it just is so much nicer that when you do slam it shut, it's not metal on metal. So when it is vibrating down those dirt roads, it's a lot quieter. Try and keep this really nice, quiet ride, really safe ride, really user friendly for both the horses and the, our customers. So this is kind of what it's like in here. Um, and we'll talk about our standard Cimarron insulated roof while we're in here. So you guys can kind of check that out. It does have your roof bow to it. So this bow is what allows the water to drain off both sides. Doesn't allow it to sit up there and pool and eat away at your roof. It just drains it off. And then you'll notice it is white. So it is kind of like a fiberglass um, honeycomb type material up there. And inside this actually looks the same up on top too. Um, if you do get big hail storms like we've had here, it's actually not gonna dent. It's gonna take up to a baseball, maybe a softball size hail to actually do any sort of damage and when it does all it's going to do is spider web so all you have to do is paint back over it with that clear poly type material and just kind of seal it back up so really easy to do that and then what it does inside of here is it's going to keep it cooler in the summer and warmer in the winter for whatever livestock is in here or up in that tack as well so 20 degrees cooler in the summer 20 degrees warmer in the winter and i will tell you guys if you come here and you walk our lot in the heat of the summer on this black pavement it's going to get hot here you step inside one of these and i could i mean you could spend a day sitting in there and not have to worry you climb inside something else that doesn't have an insulated roof it is pretty toasty so really nice feature for your livestock and also protection of your trailer if you do live in a hail prone area like we do so we'll go ahead and make our way to the head side here This is going to be very similar to that hip side with the exception of this escape door. So we still have our 16 inch awning light up there. We're going to have our plexiglass with our cutouts here. So we can remove them over here as well. Super easy. We're going to have three tie rings. Like I said, we can add more if we need more. Maybe you want to tie four up over here. We can definitely do that. Still have our 7,000 pound axles underneath this trailer and those black spoked aluminum wheels. I really like how they look, especially on these charcoal colored trailers. I think they look really sharp. And then our escape door over here. So this is gonna give us access to that stud wall. So it does have a chest bar on it in case you guys do use it for a stud or a mare or anything. Any, you could use it for gelding too, of course, but you just don't want your livestock jumping out of there. So we do have that chest bar on it but it also works really well for storage too. So go ahead and pop this loose. 
and then we can jump in there and store whatever we want in there. Pitchforks, the bag shavings, muck tubs, uh, buckets. They have, I buy my bins from Home Depot and stuff, all my extra winter blankets in there now that I don't need those anymore and kind of stack those in there. Whatever works, whatever you guys need to do. And then you can also step in here if you did use it for storage and then peek over and check on your livestock. I do that a bunch when I'm traveling. That way I don't really have to, I mean, you can step up on here because we have our running board and our tie rings to grab too, but you can also, that way you don't have to disturb them. You can just step in here and check on them too or use it for storage if you didn't have that hay rack up top or if you didn't want to add the hay rack up top. And then our dual tack over here. So we've got the same setup on this side. So if you did not, if you could not access your other side, you can do it from this side. I just really like having that convenience on this trailer. Again, we can add more saddle racks if we need to on this side as well. So we could give you at least two more on this side and still fit them comfortably. Get our saddles pushed back in there. Um, our fold down step on this side as well. So if you did have all your stuff on your other side, but then you couldn't tie up on that side, it's still really easy to step up in here and just walk through and access your saddles on that stand over there and still be able to just carry them and walk them out. With how big these openings are and how easy it is to step down out of this trailer, they really made it really simple. Got our blanket poles over here. I do have this door on the hold back. So that way you can do everything one handed if you need to. Speaking of holdbacks, I've been wanting to show you guys too, since I always forget to mention this. These holdbacks are really cool. I really like that they lay flat when you don't need them. So you can pull them up and use them like this and then they can, you can kind of flip them around. It's just a ball inside of there. So it's really easy to kind of use them how you need to and then store them and get them out of the way. So I really like this feature. Then you don't have to worry about something sticking out like that if it was like that, you know, and you had an animal run past or your horse hits his head on it or something, it's really nice to just tuck it out of the way. Because with horses, they're always looking to get into trouble and injure themselves. I think we all know that if we've owned horses before. So the more we can do to just eliminate those things, the better. So just shutting that so you guys can see the charcoal color, see it with that black spoke rim on it. I just think it looks super nice. They turn out really sharp with that color. Okay, we'll go ahead and come up front here. We did upgrade to our 53 inch drop on this trailer as well, giving you guys more clearance over those bed rails and still allowing this trailer to haul pretty level. We have a standard manual crank jack on this trailer. One of the upgrades you can still do to this one is add that electric jack. Um, we did go ahead and mount our spare tire up higher to allow for that bigger jack to sit in there. So we've already done that one step for you guys. Mounting it up here also just gets it out of the way from the rocks and the mud and the roads, the salt spray that can splash up on it. So you'll notice it is a matching spare tire too. So if you did ever have to change a tire and then put your spare on there, it will match and you will look normal if you're rolling up to a show. Um, and then really cool, I'm gonna take you guys back over here really quick. I've got my trailer plugged in so that I could show you guys the lights unplug it super quick and show you that your seven pin plug it just sets in here and stores out of the way you see that hangs up there on the hook but i really like that they've given this a home so to speak rather than having it dangle here it once it, like if it were to rain or snow or you got water dripping off here it could run down your seven pin and get in here and cause some issues it's really nice to be able to just store it away over there um, me personally, I'm just really OCD about everything having its place. So I really liked that upgrade, but I think also just for longevity of your trailer and protection for everything on this trailer, just really nice for that to have a space too. So this is kind of what our 2024 Cimarron Lone Star combo is on this guy. It's got that dual tack up front and that's got that different divider set up. So really well equipped to haul horses and the cattle if you need to do that or any other loose livestock. So um, we're going to go ahead and look at our stock number over here. We do have stock tags on all of our trailers. If you did come walk the lot, you can scan that QR code or you can reference this stock number here. It's 5N230353. Again, that 2024 Cimarron Lone Star Stock Combo. If you have any questions on this one, 
If you want to build something similar to this and change a couple things, you just want to reference this trailer. Again, my name is Michaela Geis. My contact info will show up on your screen. That is going to be my cell phone on there, 303-918-6367. You guys can call or text that, whatever works best for you. And then my email is on there as well if you prefer that. Michaela appeared guys at transwest.com. Look forward to helping you guys out, answer any questions you have. And I look forward to meeting you guys too, hopefully. So go ahead and give me a call, shoot me a text, shoot me an email, let me know what I can do for you. Have a great rest of your Wednesday and enjoy your Memorial Day weekend.